Welcome, welcome, my viewers and my listeners to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor. You can tell by now I'm in the kitchen. And so today is that day I bring you Celebrating in the Kitchen with Pastor Florence. I'm trying to bed a little bit because maybe I better sit down whenever I need to wake up. I can, you can stand up so that you can see, you know. Okay, now, today I want to make moringa seed, uh, berries, and rosemary seed tea. Actually, I have already made. I was about to take. See, I have already have a cup made here. I wanted to take it, and all of a sudden, I said, "Wow, wait a minute, my viewers and my listeners there. I love them. I love to mentor you. That's how important it is. Don't worry about the background. You know, that's how I, the kitchen is there. But I wanna let you know that my weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring you inspiration word. That's just like today. I bring you celebrating in the kitchen. Friday is like tomorrow, putting on the right gear for the weekend. So stay with me. I have tried really hard. I've always said I wish I had a 360 degree camera that will be rotating in whatever I am doing and wherever I am. If you are there and God touches you about that, be a blessing to celebrate your moment with joy, even as I continue to be a blessing to other people. We are going to start with a word of prayer and I'll be basing, basing what I am sharing now from the book of Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 4 to 11 in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you even as I'm here in the kitchen. Dear Lord, I'm not here to show up. I'm here to encourage somebody. I'm here to jumpstart somebody so that we can continue to take care of this body. We need to be healthy to serve you. We need to be healthy to serve our families. We need to be healthy to serve our community. We need to be healthy to serve you, oh God. Thank you, my Father, because each one of us has an assignment. I pray for that man out there, and especially those who have reached age 50, to take care of their health. And the young mothers, my Savior and my God, that they will be putting healthy stuff on the table. Oh, Oh God, I know we are in a, busy, in a very busy lifestyle, this generation we are in, but we can still make time. Help us, oh God. Even as I demonstrate here, may you use me, oh God, that somebody somewhere will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, you may wonder what are these Moringa said. I will be sitting down and uh, standing up as, as needed. If you don't see, that's okay. I want you to see Moringa seed. That's how it looks like. Somehow I managed to go to the store. I did not plan to buy it and I saw it. Yeah. Then I have bay leaves. Bay leaves look like this. Okay. And I used, what I used is just a few, like four, four leaves. Then I have the rosemary. Rosemary crushed crushed rosemary. You can use either rosemary powder if you have, or you can use also the rosemary seeds. I used what I have, what I had in the kitchen. So... Here you go. I'm going to put them back so they don't spill. And then I, as you can see, uh, it is boiling. This is reboiling again. And the car is still, oh my goodness, you, you can see it from there. Maybe let me just use a spoon so that you see it, how it looks like. Right. Uh, yeah, this is it. They, I'm boiling again. See? It looks red. It looks like like a cranberry juice. So this cup is a mixture of moringa seeds, bay leaves, uh, crushed rosemary. You may ask me, Pastor, what is the benefit? And I will tell you, I'm not a doctor, but I am a curious person who likes to read and to research in Jesus' name. First, I'm going to start with what the Bible talks about us. You must not be that person who is like you who maintain the hospitals and the pharmacies and the doctors. I'm not disregarding them. I value them so much. I have three children. I got all of them through Cecilian section. So doctors did a good work and I don't know what I would have done. So I, I'm not disregarding. But even when you go to the doctor, they even tell you, be careful about your health. Eat healthy. So... Uh, we are just here as, as, as a combined effort because I know there are some people who go to the doctor. All they can do is just take that medicine. Medicine is not all. In food is also medicine. Combine all of them. I also have prescriptions I take. I'm not saying I'm the most healthiest. No. 
listen to what the Bible says in Proverbs 6 from verse 4. Allow no sleep to your eyes, no slumber, no slumber to your eyes. Free yourself like a gazelle from the herd of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the flora. Go to the ant. This is one of the favorites I like to share. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler. Yet it stores its provision in the summer and gathers its food at harvest. Verse 9. How long will you lie? There, you sluggard. When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of your hands to less. And poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like a numbed man. What does that have to do with the kitchen? Pastor Florence, you might be asking. It comes, it, it, it ties in that if you are raising in what you eat, then you, you, your health will be stolen. Your momentum you know, will be stolen because you are feeling tired, you are doing all this and all that kind of things. Now, you may ask me, as I said, because this is the first one, the first one I, I bought, I got, I filtered this, but I'm still going to use it. See? Now, listen to this. The nutritional and bio compounds of moriga, moriga tree or seeds. It includes essential amino acids, carbohydrates, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and uh, nutrients, making this plant a powerful one. Hey, listen to this. I, I, and by the way, when I go to Africa, I have to research about moringa. I didn't know about it. I know there is a tree that is called moringa, but I have to check that because it says that uh, moringa is an, it's native to northern, northern India and East Africa. Okay. Now... Three, I'm gonna just jump and say uh, about moriga, the you know the, the benefits, uh, the benefits of morigas. It says that it were they were recognized. Is it over four thousand years ago? Really, my goodness. Okay, let me see. There's something I wanted to say. Uh, what I'm gonna, uh, I hope I'm gonna get it. Benefits. Oh, I have come here. Moriga. It says okay. It, it says it's extremely nutritious. Moringa leaves are one of the most nutrient dense greens on the planet, packed with protein, essential amino acids, 27 vitamins, and 46 an antioxidants. Nutrients like calcium, iron, B vitamins, potassium, magnesium, vitamin C. Now, I'm, I'm going to stop there. If it has vitamin C, why should you not drink it? If it has iron, why should you not drink it? If it has, oh my goodness, my brother and my sister, we must not allow the folding of our hands. That is to say, that's why the Bible gives us an example of the ants. Imagine, you have to store the health of your body when you are able to by eating healthy. Now, this one has nothing. I'm gonna, I've not even put sugar, I've not put honey. I'm a suit to the girl, but I'm still gonna drink it because I know it's gonna be beneficial to me in Jesus' name. For the others, for Asia, I'm gonna put some lemon and honey. But for this one, I want to, I want to make sure I add on to those, those uh, ions, especially women. I don't know why it happens that is women of, uh, of color. The ions start to be low, and the way you can know the symptoms of your iron being low, you stand up and you are going like this. You feel first and foremost, you feel so tired. You, you are, you, your energy level is always low. Then you are walking like this. You are feeling like you are going to fall down, or when you bed down, you you are standing up abruptly and you feel like you are seeing stars. My brother, my sister, it's not time now to assume. I know men like to get away with things, but I always say, men out there. When you are age 50, start taking one, one day of multivitamin. It, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you, you may come to my house and think it's like a pharmacy. I don't care what you may say, but I'm trying to rod my body with the strength so that I can serve God. How can I manage, you know, Monday through Wednesday? That's the end Friday coming to you. I need that strength to serve God. This body houses the Holy Spirit. You out there, especially as a young mother, please. Make sure whatever you put on the table, you, you, you think twice about it. You know, because you are bringing a generation for tomorrow. You know, already a healthy foundation world. When my kids were small, I used to go to farmer's market and I would buy a full bag of marege, of, of squash. 
until from that time I had is always aching because you know they are very hard. I did, had not known the secret that you can boil them, and then then uh, peel them when they are boiled because they are soft. But I would hide. They don't like vegetables. I don't know about it. I would hide, you know, squash still. I would bread and then I would make oh f food with it. So we, we you have all the reason to stay healthy. Now I am here and I'm gonna drink this in front of you. It's not tasty, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I already prayed. Oh my God. It's... That cup is done. Now this one, because I want to enjoy it. That one I did not enjoy. Medicine is not always. Oh, magician. Mm. Hey. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And you can see, this is celebration in the kitchen. You can make any moment to be celebration. It all depends on how you see it. Perspective. It is my prayer. Moriga. Moriga seed. You know, rosemary. Berries. Nokinya. Mudoamimo weka ya maido kafere. Be that person who look ahead of time. Have the vision of your life. Have the vision of your health. I am so proud to say that I'm 60 years, but I don't feel 60. Sometimes the joints will make me feel that. But I try to jumpstart them and say, you body, I need to, I, I need to, to, you know, to take care of you body because you're housing the Holy Spirit. These feet of mine have to go and preach the gospel. So I need to take care of it. No, for you mother out there, you have children. Bring them up healthy. Mm. Don't be the one who supports you are the one that maintains these uh, uh, fast food uh, places. You are the one who support Subways. You are the one who support McDonald's. McDonald's, they make natural things, but they process and process and process. May the Lord God bless you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not against them. I still go to McDonald's. I still go to Subway. But let us not make a habit. Let us not my lifestyle of eating healthy in Jesus' name. Also, don't make... That all that I say, it is, it is right. Search it for yourself. Research it for yourself when you go to the store. Yeah, be a customer of of grocery stores and look for the greens. Look now, this one look like it is now. You see, this is a, a, a reboiled, so I don't burn myself. And I can add there. I'm gonna uh, filter it. Oh, my fan has says it is so hot here. So the noise might be there. You see, this is a second. I am reboiling it again. And it looks like, but this one, I promise, I'm not going to drink without sugar or honey. So I'm going to add there. Today was moringa seed with rosemary and bay leaves. How they drink. You can make it tea. You can make it like juice. In Jesus' name, if you like cold drink, you can put it in the fridge and then cool down. May the Lord God bless you. Again, my weekly schedule, Monday through Wednesday, Inspiration 1, Thursdays, like today, celebrating in the kitchen. Tomorrow, Friday, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Until you follow Pastor Florence. So we got together to build up this body that we are using to work hard. You work hard and eat. Work hard for your health. Work hard when you go to work. And work hard also when you are preaching. I preach. But I need to be strong. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Father, I thank you. Whatever I have given, I pray that someone, a young mother somewhere, that old person, man somewhere, will recognize the need of feeding this body well because we need to live wrong so, and healthy so that we can serve you. I thank you and I adore you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Maybe you have never trusted the Lord. You know, it all starts by your relationship with God. One woman and another mother need it. Then you can take care of this body because it's a temple of the Holy Spirit. You are there, you have never given your life to the Lord. Let us do it here in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Do you want to say this prayer after me? What do you want me to do? You believe in your heart. What do you believe? That Jesus is the Son of God. That He died and rose again and will come back again. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. If you are in that category, it's personal. The journey of heaven is personal. You want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus. I thank you for this demonstration in the kitchen. It has made sense to me. And now my father, because uh, you created me, I give my life to you. So that, And help me, my father, to take care of my spirit, to take care of my body, to take care of my mind by the things I watch, by the things I read. Help me, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. And two things are important. 
testimony of what has happened. Say, I gave my life when Pastor Flores, you are, you are preaching about Moriga, Rosemary, Bell Leaves, Lee, you know, tea. May God bless you. Another thing, join a group of believers so that you can be able to be encouraged. No man is annihilated by himself. The Bible tells us very clearly in Psalms 133, Behold how good it is for brethren to meet together. Let me tell you when I meet with other girls, my God, we love and love and love. You do not even think I'm a pastor there. We make jokes because life is not, life is short. Make use of it. Enjoy it in Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment counts. Every moment matters. And if you like this t-shirt, let me know. It says celebrate your moment with joy. And it reads here. This far, the Lord has helped us from 1 Samuel 7, 12. You can ask me and I'll, let you, and I'll get you one. It is just $15. May God bless you. Thank you.